This is a video response to someone who had commented on one of my videos, which attempts to explain how to capture audio via HDMI with the Avermedia Live Gamer HD C985. To start out, let's open up Avermedia's Rec Central. Now, there's two ways to do this. We won't even go over Newbie as it doesn't let you set audio. The only two options are Amateur and Pro. Starting with Amateur, all you need to do is make sure your audio source is set to HDMI. Moving on to Pro, just make sure your audio source is still HDMI. This is not all you need to do. If you stop at this point, your videos will not have audio. To show you why, let's queue up an audio source. Okay, so this footage you're seeing now was recorded with the Live Gamer HD, and as you can see, well, here, there is no audio. So I guess not here? Okay, so these next couple steps are going to deal with your Windows sound settings. Go to the sound icon on the taskbar, right-click, and select Playback Devices. What you're looking for here is something called Avermedia HD, followed by some number. If you don't see it, it might be disabled, and you just have it set to Do Not Display. To fix this, simply right-click any icon and select Show Disabled Devices. Now right-click Avermedia HD and click Enable. Then right-click again and go to Properties. Click the Levels tab and move the slider all the way to 100. At this point, if you're just planning to record or stream using XSplit, you're done. To prove it, here's a clip recorded using XSplit. clearly hear the audio. Unfortunately, if you plan to record or stream with the Live Gamer HD itself, then you have a few more steps to go through. Navigate back to the taskbar and right-click the sound icon again. Select Recording Devices. Right-click Stereo Mix and select Enable. Right-click again and select Properties. Click the Listen tab and check the Listen to this device box. Do not click Apply at this point. Click the pull down under Playback through this device and select Avermedia HD NVIDIA High Definition Audio. Now you can click Apply. To show you why you don't want to click Apply till after you've selected your capture card's audio, just watch this footage. It's possible this can happen even after you've selected the capture card's audio. To stop it, just uncheck Listen to this device and click Apply. Then check to make sure your equipment is connected properly. Just one more step. Right-click Stereo Mix again, click the Levels tab, and make sure the slider is set to 100. Here's a clip recorded using the Live Gamer HD. And we can hear the audio. Mission accomplished. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, please comment in the comments section and I'll attempt to answer when I have time.